us back to where Texas has been in the past and Longhorn fans believe should always be. Fromm takes it down. That's going to be his longest oh, run this season. And here one. comes more flags. And you hate to see this. Yeah. Now that's Anthony Cook, the freshman. And well, he just came in for Davis. He's listed as the backup, and we haven't seen him on the field much. And flags fly everywhere as the officials step in. Texas is losing some of their composure here. Bad penalty on Anthony Cook, and I think Gary Johnson might get called for a personal foul, maybe even taking a swing at the end of the play. This is not what you want if you're Tom Herman. No. The slide, he's given up his body. You can't hit a quarterback sliding like that. I mean, you just can't do that. And then after the hit, there was some more pushing. I think some of the Georgia offensive linemen upset about what was going on. And, uh, and there's the penalty by Gary Johnson that's going to get called. I think every official threw his flag <laughs> at the end of that play. And there were many flags you'd ever see all over the field. Well, George is going to get really good field position after the mm -hmm. end result of this. They've got a minute, just under a minute. If they score quickly, they're going to have an opportunity for an onside kick. So for Tom Herman, I mean, they still have some football to play here, and they've lost some composure as well as a couple key players in the last there are minute. fouls on both teams. Holding number 79 offense. Personal foul targeting number four defense. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 33 defense. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced. Because of the targeting, the previous play is under further review. Well, Bill Lamagne, you think that's targeting? I know you're not supposed to hit him when he's sliding. It's a the, personal the, the foul. The call for the late hit after the slide is a perfect call. Did he hit him in the head neck area? Did he hit him with the crown of the helmet? I don't see that. So I would want replay to take the targeting call off. And then if that's the case, the two penalties offset and well, then the extra penalty would the, be enforced. Actually, the, right? the, the hit, late hit on the quarterback's a dead ball foul. No, so it was a holding on Georgia. That's correct. And it was a, okay. So you'd have the 10 the yard penalty for the holding. Mm -hmm. Then you'd have uh, the offsets that would occur because of the late hit and the unsportsmanlike conduct. But those were both, no, they on, were Texas. both on Texas. Oh, those they were both on were, Texas. Yeah. But my Thank question you. is if the, if the booth says it wasn't targeting, but it should be a personal foul. The personal foul we'll for the late hit will stand. Mm hmm. Now you have the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Right. Those will both be So enforced. the only thing that will happen out of this is either Cook is out of the game or not. Yes. Okay. And I, I really think they need to take this targeting call off the board. Mm -hmm. Cook plays very little. True freshman from Houston. A little more time for Scott Van Pelt to practice his ad libs tonight. Sports <laughs> Center coming a little more slowly than it looked like it might a few minutes ago. <laughs> Always enjoy watching Sports Center with SVP. We have the Ford post game show coming up as well. It's been such a great night through most of it for Tom Herman. He certainly doesn't want anything to tarnish one of the great wins in many a year for Austin. And the After Texas review, Longhorns, if it, this the holding stands. foul is a live ball foul on number 79. That 10 yard penalty will be enforced for the previous spot. After the play, personal foul targeting number four defense, unsportsmanlike number 33 defense. By rule, those penalties are canceled. However, number four is still disqualified. That's the first unsportsmanlike conduct foul on number 33. Well, let's bring in Bill Lamagna. I don't understand that. No, if, if, if both those fouls are against Texas and they're both dead ball fouls, they need to be enforced. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. And result in an automatic first down. 